Hello everyone, how are we doing today? I hope you're doing very well. I'm doing very well myself as well. It is a bright and shiny day here. What's different? Nothing. It's just shining, but I'm glad to have sun. So I am of course sweating as usual, but today it's going to be a bit of a different setup for us because as you know, what my usual thing is, I watch established movie and I just uh, I watch it for the first time, share my thoughts about it honestly, and then let them be more. For today, one of the independent movie directors got in touch with me or through email and we were chatting back and forth for a while. And he was keen to see if I would be willing to have a look at one of the um, short films that they're making. So this is just going to be the first installment of one of the, some of the series that they're going to do. And he was keen to see if I will be willing to have a watch and let them know my honest thoughts and opinions. And of course, uh, to share it here on YouTube as well. Then I thought about it and it's like, yeah, it's I, I can't remember the last time I watched a short film. Maybe about 20 years ago, I think. I think 20 years ago, I remember watching a short film about some war. So for today, I will be watching the first installment of the deranged series of short films that has been produced by Louis P. TV. The film has been written and produced by Louis P. And he is also starring in the movie as well, as I've been told. And in addition to Louis P., there is Kenya Clark, Nola Kodish, and Rina Navarro. I have not seen this one. I do not have an idea what it's going to be like as always. And I have been told that after the first installment that, that has been released, the one that I'm going to watch now, the sequel of it is expected to be released later this year. What I will do is I will leave the links to their website, their social media links and everything in the description of this video. Please have a look and also I will leave it in the pin comment down below. And as always, I will share my honest thoughts during the movie and at the end as well. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I look forward to enjoying it myself too. So see you soon. She's been held hostage. Yes. No, 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 don't, don't, don't.
he really cut her toe? Thompson, you're, you're working my sister's case. Yes, uh, good evening, Miss Thompson. So, uh, how are you holding up? Uh, well, I'm doing my own research, and, and you know, it just seems, you know, I, 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 I think there's a connection between my sister and, and the people that worked at Lake Grove Psych. Miss, Miss Thompson. Please just listen. The doctor that went missing, he worked with my sister. Thomas Creighton was their patient. Thomas Creighton is dead. That's what everybody thinks. <laughs> but uh, they never recovered your body. So I think he survived. And uh, I, I believe he was the one who, who set the fire. And and I believe now he's after everyone that worked there. OK, all right, all right. Miss Thomas, please let me conduct my investigation. I could help you. I, 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 I we, we, we could work together, you know, um, of all the people that work there, we, we could let them know that there's a possible, you know, maniac out there and, uh, you know, that their lives are in danger, you know? All right, all right. That's, that's, that's enough, Miss Thompson. Now I'm telling you, I will do my job. Please let me handle my investigation. If you want to help, you can help by not spreading panic, all right? I'll contact you when I have something real, okay? But for right now, just get some rest. Okay. So far, I'm happy with the both the the two ladies who are active. Who is this now? I'm not gonna be a good mom? No, I didn't say that. Then what is it? It's not, it's just... Every time I bring up kids, you brush it off. No, it's not then that. Then what is it? Maybe I just don't think right now's the time we should be worried about kids. You just make it seem like you don't want a family with me. No, 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 listen, listen. Okay, now listen. Now I love you more than I've ever loved anyone in my life. Okay, and I want nothing more than for you to be my wife and the mother of my kid. I just want us to be in the best position possible to raise that kid. That's all. Smart decision. You mean it? One hundred percent. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Maybe it's not the right time. Hey, uh, I'm just heading home. Um, I'm just trying to check and see when you and Cass are coming through. Mm, probably like around like eight-ish. 
I'm still cleaning. Once I'm done, I'm gonna end up taking a shower. I also have to wait for Cass to finish up her meditation class. Oh wait, question. Is Mike gonna be there? Yes, he is. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, the Cass could finally get some dick in her life. <laughs> you know it. I don't know what's wrong with that girl. He's fine. If I was down with this world, I would have definitely gave him some a long time ago. Anyway, I just got back. So, uh, if anything, I'll just see you guys later. Keep me posted. All right, bet. This has a bit of a home movie kind of a feel to it. Intentional? I'm not sure. Hey, babe. Long day? Today was a drag. I'm happy to be home already. Ready for tonight? Yeah, yeah, I'll probably get some pizza when everybody comes through. <laughs> Lit, I don't have to cook. <sighs> I do anyway. Watch I'm it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Stupid. <laughs> Mike hit me up early, he said he'd be here like 8.30ish. That works. Um, Amber and Cassie gonna be here about the same time, so that's perfect. Oh my God, Amber. Be nice. Thank is you. The, is it the girl that she just Um, you know to? what? I'm gonna go take a shower. Um, you get the snack started. Okay. Alright. Awesome. Very silent. No sound. Three deep breaths through your nose and out your mouth. Now, three breaths in through the nose, out through the nose, slowly. Bring your breath back to your natural rhythm of breathing. Uh, they do that, these kind of things in meditation? Now one final breath together, in through the nose, out through the mouth. and gently open your eyes when you're ready. How do you feel? I feel, I feel good, at ease. Good, so glad to hear that. Uh, you've had so much progress since you started coming in the beginning. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much, Amanda. These sessions are really helping me. I really appreciate Aww. you. Aw, so glad to hear that. It's really hard dealing with depression and no one should have to deal with it alone. Yeah. Well, I'm actually going to hang out with my sister and some friends tonight, so that should be good for me. I haven't been around them in a while. Um, I hope you have fun. Uh, stay safe, and I'll see you next week. Yeah. Have okay. a good night. All right. You too. Bye. Bye. The way we meditate is totally different, so, okay. Meditation can be different from so many ways. I think it's a big thing in the Western world right now. Hey, 
is that person? It's quite dark, very difficult to see actually what's going on in several of the scenes. Her neck! Just like that? Hmm? Who is this person now? Is it the same person who killed the other woman? Is this the guy? Oh, hey, what's up, man? How are you? Oh, God, what's going it's on? cold yeah. out there. Where's Cassie? She called me and told me she was taking an Uber. Wait, hold up. Cassie's coming over? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. This is going to be funny. Oh, it was freezing out there, though. Oh, man, don't remind me. So, guys, what's on tonight's agenda? It's up to y'all. I don't know about you guys. But I'm in the mood for something scary. I'm with it. Let's do it. Shouldn't we wait for Cassie, Darius? She's definitely gonna be here any minute, so. No. Really was that so, the man. Cassie whose neck was tonight. just got right, broken? That... Oh, it's gotta be Cassie. I don't think so. Why? 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 What's the matter? The past few days I feel like someone's been following me and then when I was on my way over here. Cassie. I don't know why. Calm down. Calm down. Who are you? Because nobody's gonna hurt you here. Okay. 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 Mm. Just relax, okay? So. Maybe somebody's swallowing. Somebody's yeah. going and killing. I don't know. Hey, how oh, are you, girl? You okay? Okay. How's the Uber? Annoying. Mm. <laughs> like Ubers. Hey, Darius. Hey, Cass. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. Hey, Mike. How are you doing? Oh, <laughs> guys. You know what? My fault. I'm going to take this beer back. Okay. So, Darius. What are we gonna eat? We got some snacks in the kitchen if you want some of those. I'm actually gonna get a pizza, so I'll be right back. Yeah. That sounds like a plan. Let me join you. Go get us that pizza. We are hungry. Yo, bro, hold up. Did he just say snacks? Like I'm telling you. Yeah, he did. Hey, I'm gonna make this pizza extra thick. Hold up. <laughs> Girl, I don't know what your problem is. I would have been slept with him. What the fuck are you following me for, dude? Why don't you go back and revive with shorty? It's not telling you. I know, but yo, I just want to talk to you about something important. Um, you gotta talk to me about something important. On, you gotta talk to me about something on. important. Come on, dude. What's up? Is somebody outside? Only three women? Oh, yes, of course. Only three women left inside. Please, please stop. All it. right, all right. But on a serious note, have you been? I missed you. Oh, I miss you too. Aww. How's everything going with your meditation classes? <sighs> They're going good. Amanda's really awesome, and I finally feel like I'm gonna get my life back on track and make my daddy proud. That's good, girl. You're already <laughs> making him proud with your goofy self. Except now, when it comes to Mike, I'm just nasty. Y'all just nasty. Please, got you, got you. please. You're just happy you're here. <laughs> oh, I'm happy I'm here too. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, no more. <laughs> the hell? How to get back that quick? Darius only uses his damn key. Oh, he's just so lazy. I don't want yes. another kitten. Kitchen door. Nobody's there? No. 
I mean, there's probably some glitch or something because it's cold weather or whatever like that. No, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know this house. I swear to God, if it's Mike and Darius playing games, because I don't got time for it. It's just ridiculous. Why do I keep on ringing the door? Kitchen door. Hmm. They ain't out there. No one dares. He probably got some buzzer or something and just watching how we react. What's wrong? I, I have a really bad feeling about Girl, that. you know how they do. They just playing games. It makes sense they want to watch horror today. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get Katie because I don't got yeah. time. I, I'm going to get her because she needs to go get her man. I'm sick and tired. Somebody's what? trying to break in. Girl, you know she's overreacting. No, she just, somebody is trying to break in. Listen to me. Can you just go get your man and get him under control? You know she's scared right now. Why? Just stay here for a second, all right? Well, why are you tripping? You, you know they always play games like this. this. Let me... They do it all the time. Let me just handle this. And you better handle it because you know my mouth. Why is she going with the knife? My camper, my God. Ooh. Guys, let the freaking door open. You know they play games all the time. In the door, he's gonna help hit this guy. They went to two different rooms and closed the door. All the doors are closed. How is that possible? Well, somebody's under the bed. The only Room that is not locked, somebody's under the bed. Oh, somebody is in the closet. I wouldn't come out until somebody comes home. Why is she coming out? Don't celebrate yet. So just like you, this is the first time I watched this, this short film. First of all, have you watched a short film? When was the last time did you watched a short film? What was it about? Like how often someone watches a short film? Because for me, it's not that very often. And I think the, more, the ones that I, I've seen have always actually been around this cinema festivals the movie festivals and so on so these independent directors and independent movie makers will make their short films uh, to be featured and then of course to be uh, reviewed by those uh, sometimes the experts who are being there so that's how i have seen some of the short films for this one 
I'm just going to share my thoughts as a person who's sitting at home, a normal person who's sitting at home and watching this short film. Because I don't have any expert thoughts on what a short film should be like, what it should entail and how the movie should roll. I, I have no idea about that. But this is from me as a, my, my point of view, honest opinion when it comes to a person watching a movie. This, this short film for the first time and at the same time as a YouTuber who does her own editing for the videos and so on just uh, to on the technical aspects of it so, uh, that came to my head so the the funny thing is this is a movie that is all about about 25 minutes long and when I just watched it I was thinking even though for someone to just watch it oh it's just 25 minutes I know how long it takes for me to edit one of the YouTube reaction videos that I'm doing. It takes me easily 14 to 16 hours for, uh, for, the, for me to edit my video which comes out about 30-35 minutes. So I wonder actually how long it took for them and the effort that must have gone into this movie for them to uh, create this piece. That will be really interesting to know. Like, do, would you know how actually these things are done because the teams are most of the time very small and most of the time I think these kind of movies have been created by actually the people who are passionate about make, mo making movies and then uh, trying to trying their touch in the um, in this art form right so for me like I mentioned during the movie I think what this episode did was set a precedence to what is going to happen in the rest of the sequels to come about because uh, so so many of you when I was watching her Halloween movies and so on that in the comments had mentioned have I watched slasher movies I have not watched them I don't know whether this one falls into that genre because there is horror but I, I do not know. I'm, I'm, I was just thinking, well, is it something of that sort? And um, there were actually times that actually scared me. There were a few points I, I did not expect this. This is going to happen. Something that kind of a action is going to take place. But what I see is actually the what they are trying to set up. For me, I think there is potential for it to be as taken into episodes and grow into it because there now for the moment what we do not see a whole story per se we see okay there is someone who we do not know who is going and uh, killing people and especially women so so far we have seen four women being killed no five actually so like next being twisted which is very sad but uh, anyway so i think the next episodes will take us through what's going to happen what is what has been happening why are the women being attacked and uh, chosen and so on so that way i think there is potential for this uh, story to be expanded on and i was wondering how will it be if this team got together the, this movie making team got together and actually did a feature length movie what they will come up with what is the story is going to be like and uh, I do not know when I when I was watching the movie I mentioned the the and camera angles felt like a home movie home like because of the shakiness and then the compactness of the camera angle uh, I do not know whether it is intentional or is it because of the limited resources as well because what I have been watching all this while are this movies that are coming from these huge production houses where there are huge teams of experts and then they have spent millions and sometimes hundreds of millions of dollars on their expertise and they are refining these things and like the equipment and everything so when i i mean after having seen that i'm just wondering what it takes for this small team to actually go about and do this and use whatever the limited resources that you may have and then trying to create something that you're passionate about maybe at the same time i actually want to mention i thought uh, for this one uh, for me actually the music stood out 
from the 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 movie because uh, they, they they did quite well for the music. Whoever the, I, I saw the music was done by someone Israel, so I think he did a good job. It was it was nice, and um, and at the same time I noticed the two ladies who were playing in the beginning, the lady who got killed, and the lady who was um, her sister, her sister who was talking to the detective. I think uh, the, the acting was really good actually. I think they have a good potential to just for this to develop. These are independent movies, so most of them are mature actors as well. So I feel like they actually have good potential and they did very well. So anyway, I wish Louis P and his team and everyone who contacted me very well and also Chris Green who is the director. I wish you all the very best for this series and I think there is definitely potential for you to actually while you go ahead keep improving and expanding this story I, I, I can only imagine how much work must have gone into this short film even though we call it a short film actually there must have gone there must have been a lot of work going in and then this team you have to get the, to get together and then film them and edit them and then you know, it's, it's, it must have been interesting actually especially when you are working with a small team as well to the viewers of this video just let us know how often do you have you watched a short film how did you enjoy it was it something is it something that you specifically look for because I feel like as us as viewers, at least for me, yes, as you know, I'm not a person who actually watches movies as much and that's why I'm doing it now. So, but I do not specifically go look for short films. But do you do that? If you do, I would like to really hear why. When did you start doing it? And maybe I'm the odd one out. I just want to know. So anyway, thank you so much. I'll catch you soon with my reaction to one of the most popular movies in the next couple of days. You take care.